And being that I'm a military brat, I was familiar with the depot because I used to come over here as a kid with the commissary. So, and, and my interview was, was really interesting because I had never been on an interview before. I mean, I was working a civilian job, but I was never on an interview. So uh, when I came in, uh, we, we were sitting out in the hall, and they called your name, and I go in, and I sat across from this gentleman by the name of Mr. Boudreaux. And he introduced himself, and I introduced mine, and we shook hands, and he knew right away that I was scared. And I was, because this is something I really wanted, and I didn't want to blow it. And he looked at me, and he said, young man, he said, this is a job interview, not an inquisition. He said, we're not going to tar and feather you. He said, are you nervous? And I said, yes, sir, I am. He said, well, let's take a walk. So him and I, we walked out, and at that time I smoked, and he smoked, and we got a, we got a soda, and we just chit-chatted about family. We didn't, we didn't talk about the work or anything, and we did this for like maybe 10 minutes. And he said to me, he said, are you better now? I said, yeah. So we went back in, and we went through the whole interview. And he was throwing jokes out left and right. And so finally, when we got to the end, I figured, well, I'm going to try a joke. So I looked at him, and I said, sir, you realize, of course, that if you hire me here, there is a condition. You can work me long, but you can't work me hard. And he looked at me, and, and all of a sudden, everything went off his face. He was just stone cold. And I thought, oh, Lord. I blew this one. And he stood up and he said, young man, he stuck out his hand. He said, you'll make a fine federal employee. And he shook my hand. He said, you're hired. And the ironic thing was, whenever I come to work here, I worked for him for a, for a short time. <laughs>